guys have gone to town. They're headed to the iconic Dawson City and I'm alone here by myself in camp watching things. You know that sounds like an easy job but we are in the middle of the wilderness. It's between 100 and 300 kilometers to the closest town from here and those towns are very small like you know we're talking 150 residents. So I do have to be constantly aware of bears and wildlife but it is also very peaceful. One of the responsibilities of being in camp is keeping the firewood stocked up. So we went and got a whole bunch of these logs yesterday and stumps. So I'm gonna buck these up. Wood to burn for the wood stove when we're drying different plants and mushrooms. I've got two small Husqvarna saws here. Chainsaws use two stroke engines. So that means that you can flip the chainsaw upside down and it'll keep running. Unlike a four-stroke engine where if you were to do that, it would flood the engine and you would have oil issues. With a chainsaw, the oil is mixed in with the gas. So you can flip the, the two-stroke engine all around while you're working with it. When you're using chainsaws, they get very dirty. They're just a dirty tool. And so you need to clean them and you need to sharpen your chain. So I've got a few different tools here. I'm gonna use this one to clean inside of the bar groove. This one will take off the case so I can access the chain and take the chain off, clean the bar, and then I can clean out in here. Take that off. I open this up. This is going to be really dirty. This should have been cleaned a while ago, but we've been busy. I like to gather it all up and then just burn it off. Bar oil mixed into the sawdust. I don't like leaving that on the ground. So I've already been cleaning for over an hour. This saw was dirtier than normal, but I do this probably three or four times in the spring and three or four times in the fall. Soot, I'm cutting fire hardened wood. Something that's often missed is cleaning this bar groove. So there's a groove along here you just take something thin like I got an awful blade here you just run that through and I got a whole bunch of debris sawdust out of there by doing that I was taught by a faller because you want to be you don't want your chain too tight so you don't want it to come off either so you should be able to pull on it, but you don't want those to be able to come out there. This screw here will tighten your chain. So now when I pull on it, I've been cleaning for over two hours, two hours, 15 minutes. I got both saws cleaned and this one's already fully sharpened. So I need to take a break from this, go back to cutting some wood. It's Tuesday, May the 30th at 10 a.m. and we are here with Randy, Alec, and we're going to Dawson to get a week's worth of groceries before the picking season starts. The Dawson Trading Post, classic. Pretty. There's where we get our groceries. Paddle wheeler called the Kino. We do laundry here as well? Yep. Yeah. We do awesome. both at the same time. You Perfect. throw your laundry in, you go have a shower. Oh. Oh no, he's open. Now we're cleaning, the laundry's in the dryer and we're going to the El Dorado Hotel for food. Yeah. 
Yeehaw. Welcome to Dodge. Well, we're on our way out of Dawson. It's a neat little town full of travelers who are here to work for the summer. Lots of people just walking around, enjoying themselves. We are headed back to camp. Storm clouds rolling in. Campsite, road, road to the power lines, up the power lines across the top of the hill, which is nice and clear along the edge. And then that probably curves right around. And there's the burn right on the tip of the hill, right just over that tip. I don't know if you can zoom in on here, Phil. Green, and then all of that is burnt and it probably wraps around the other side and it banks down, so that's a big section. Super far away. Join us next week where we attempt to hike into the section of burn you can see on the far hillside. We will have to follow the exposed ridge and navigate around five kilometers through muskeg bogs and thick forest to reach the edge of the wildfire. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like and subscribe. You can also find our online shop linked in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.